During this recording, we're going to cover how to create a defect in SAP or a trigger or enter it into SAP. Um, once it's entered into SAP, then the coordinator who monitors any new defects that have been entered will pick them up and then decide where to, what needs to be done after that, send tasks out or whatever follow-up needs to be done. Now to initiate one though, we select on IQS 21 Notification Create and I've included this into my favorites, so double click on IQS 21. And once in the screen, you will enter the plant, and in this case BP01 or BP02 if that's, uh, if your plant BP02. And, but the key is, is enter your plant so we can keep the two sets um, list separate. And then if you happen to know the production order number, you'd want to enter the production order number, link to that. And then line number one. So if production order was one, two, three, number one, two, three, then line number one, if I hit enter, it would then bring in the material and the revision if you wanted to link it to the production order. If you want to link the defect just to a material and you know it, hit the material. And if it's rev, rev, if you want to make sure you got the right rev, so I'm pulling down and selecting rev A, there's only one rev. But if there's multiple, you want to make sure the defect is being recorded against the correct rev. And then a general description. In this case, I have broken in dots here, meaning, you know, more descriptive. Uh, but the idea is to have a general description here that the coordinators, once they're searching for these, can sort with uh, kind of at a, a high level. And then when they drill in, they can see the details. So you would have down in this area here, description area, you would have the details of what happened or what, you, uh, or what you're seeing or what defect is occurring. And then you could have many lines. And then if you have uh, more than this quick entry screen can uh, hold, you then select the extended uh, text tab here on the right in the middle. And once you select that, it gets into a screen where you can then enter a full screen. We can enter many more lines and just keep right on going down the bottom of the page and beyond. But the idea here is, is being very descriptive here to where a coordinator, once they pick this up, a notification coordinator will not need to make an email or a phone call. So make sure this is, is very clear. And then they need to be able to uh, determine from reading your description of what the defect is because they then have to select an actual code, a defect code inside the notification for trending. If you need um, attachments, then you would go up to towards the top left where you see this icon which says service objects. You put your cursor over the top of this little tab here. It looks like a piece of paper. And then you select create, create attachment. And then you're now in a kind of a search where you can go to your C drive, your common drive. I just hit the computer here and then I'm going into my C drive. And I'm selecting a document that I want to attach here. That's now attached right to the notification. And then I'm going to save. Now that is how you create a notification or create or initiate a notification within SAP.